Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Royal Navy in uh, the first week of December 1939. Right, our campaign has been to continue um, to covering all the uh, the convoy routes with destroyers and using our uh, capital ships sparingly only to engage other capital ships and trying to use our um, submarines to uh, pen the um, the large German capital ships around the uh, their dock areas. Now it's been about 18 days since I last played this game so if I can't remember exactly what my strategy was please forgive me. Um, that's why I've been away for a week so I, I did some recording in a bulk to uh, keep up to date uh, so you'd have one every week but um, yeah it's actually been uh, over two weeks since I've played so um, <laughs> I can't quite remember what we were doing. Uh, so let me just try and uh, reacquaint myself. We've got the heavy cruiser Suffolk and the two destroyers in the med. Okay, do we have anyone in? Um, we have the war spite uh, battleship in um, dock for some repairs. Okay, that's good. Um, over here in the Bay of Biscay, we've got three destroyers: a Freedy, Vanuk, and Vanquisher. Good, they're just covering that. Down here we have two destroyers: Watchman and Vivian. Here we've got two destroyers, two destroyers, uh, the heavy cruiser Exeter, light cruiser Ajax, and the destroyer Valentine. And on the, no the um, North American coast we have the heavy cruiser Berwick, who's heavy damage, um, light cruiser Achilles, and the destroyer Valorius. Right, we've got a dock here in the American dock, so actually let's send them all in for some repair and some rearmament. So the Berwick's going to be in for 12 turns, crikey. Six weeks. Actually, that's not too long at all when you think about it. Um, in the UK, we have uh, the light cruiser Sheffield with four destroyers. Over here, we have two destroyers. And over here, we have two destroyers. And we've got U-boat, U-boat, U-boat. Excellent. Do we have anyone in the port there? No. Right. So, if we have a look at... They've got their two ports around Kiel down here. Um, look at the ships. Ships popping up. Oh, these are the main ones, obviously. These three are the main ones we need to cover, which is good. Um, we've got them covered. I might move um, Thesis or Thetis down here, and I might move uh, Triton down to Kiel as well. Let's see what's going on there. Right. I think that'll do for now. Oh, and straight away, we have U48 has been has engaged. The destroyers Kelvin and Norman. So the German U-boat has the advantage. So no doubt they're going to get some torpedoes away sh straight off the uh, from the start, and we may lose a destroyer. Oof, okay, right. Torpedoes inbound. Uh, literally right for us. Let's hard to starboard. And, uh, and turn. Uh, that's not going to work very well for us. That's not going to work very well for us. But before we die, <laughs> we can send our own torpedoes, hopefully, to um, match her. Well, where is she? She is facing... Okay, so if we um, select the... Can I just select that? No, hang on. Let me... Oh, we've got ten torpedoes. Right, we may lose the Kelvin here. I'm hoping we don't. I'm hoping she can take a torpedo strike. Um, how far are we? 3,500 meters. So it's not going to get there this time. So we'll launch one there. We'll launch one there. I'm not. She's got to be facing me. So I'll launch one there. Not that I think that would hit, but I think we might lose this destroyer anyway. So it's worth just firing torpedoes willy nilly to make sure we get her. Fire. Torpedoes away. Now. Okay. Uh, so there you are. Did she launch the torpedoes at us? No. Right. You. Hard to starboard as well. And this round. Um, we'll just, we'll just uh, send a few shots her way. Just to... Uh, Oh, there goes the Kelvin. I knew she'd be. That's why I wasn't. Damn. These destroyers don't have much chance against the U-boats. Uh, I wish it was only. I wish it was like this in um, 
Silent Hunter and all those games. Boo! And in return, we've sunk U-48. Well, that's a win for the Germans. Ah. Uh, so we lost the Kelvin for uh, 1690, and we sunk the U-48 for 800. Done. Oh no! And again, another initiative for the U-boats. U-31 and U-67 have ambushed the Juno and the Vanessa. Oh no! Please don't lose anymore. Torpedoes away. Oh no. Oh no. U-67, torpedoes away. Bloody hell. Right. We're here with the Juno. Oh, bloody hell, look at that. Right. Hard to starboard. I'm hoping we might get away with that. Excellent. Uh, we can't... Oh, hang on. She's got U-boats fore and aft. Brilliant. Uh, right, you attack the one actually in front of you. And then we'll get the Vanessa to turn on and, and fire some torpedoes at that one there. So we've got a U-boat over there somewhere. Oh, yeah, I can just about see the periscope. Switch. Oh, do we have any aircraft? No. Um... Elevation at 7.8. 7.5, there we go. Oh, that's close. That was really close. Right, Vanessa, where are your torpedoes coming into? Hang on, where are you? So you're there. To I can't remember who fired at you. Which U-boat? There's a U-boat over there. There must be a U-boat over there somewhere. Um, right, so we're going to... Assume that one has fired at us. So let's turn hard to port and turn into them. Yeah, not quite sure. Can't see any torpedoes, which is a bit worrying, if I'm honest. Um, so she's locked in on that. Let's get some uh, high explosives in. Actually, we're not locked on on that. Now we're locked on on that. Uh, 7.9. 7.5 I fired last time. That was kind of about on the money. So if I go 7.6. Oh, we didn't we didn't make um, allowances for the winds, but fingers crossed. Woo, she's safe. Oh my god, there's torpedoes going that way as well. Oh my goodness me! Look at this. Juno has literally threaded the eye of the needle. Look, we got torpedoes going that way, and we've got torpedoes going that way. Holy batfink. That is a bit of dodging right there. That is <laughs> incredible. Right. Um, yes. So hang on. So that's gone. They've gone past. And they've gone past. So what I don't want to do is accidentally turn into one. So we are just going to go straight. Um, let's go down to two-thirds speed and just go straight for the moment. That's the tail, so that should be okay. Right, next turn we'll turn sharply and we'll try and get back on... Um... Oh yeah, we were attacking the one in front actually, weren't we? So we'll turn away once these torpedoes go. And um, she may well fire another torpedo actually. Uh, hopefully she hasn't had time to reload. If she has, we're screwed. Uh, we're 4,000 meters away, actually, so it won't hit us in one go. Um, but still, it's uh, it's not good. Oh, that was right on the periscope. That's got to have done some damage. Got to have done some damage. Right, uh, so Vanessa is coming up to the... But I can't... Oh, there she is there, right. Turn to port. Uh, and I think we can probably lose a torpedo or two. Um, torpedo 56.6. You're looking there. Oh, yeah, yeah, it could be. Uh, one more, one more, one more degree. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh, it's like being at the petrol pump, trying to get it on an even number. There we go. Nice. 
Uh, and I'm going to fire some spreader torpedoes. Let her know I care. Fire. Slurp of coffee. Well, there goes those torpedoes. Thank heavens for that. That was a nice bit of dodging. Um, I'm a little bit nervous now because I was just waiting. Okay, she's coming. Oh, U67 is diving. You cowards! Stand and fight! Oh, U31 took three torpedo hits. Wow. She's gone. Nice. So it's just um, this U-boat here. Now, because she's dived, we can go flank speed ahead, charge at her, and we can try depth charging. She has dived, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. Okay, no, well, we won't bother. There's no point firing anything at the moment. Um, where is she? So she's back. She's back over there, right. Out to starboard. You can hear the creaking of the U-boat. Oh, there she is there. There she is, sinking away. Anyway, um, no, so we're not going to fire anything this time. No depth charging. Go. Uh, she's the torpedoes in the water. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> I thought she'd fired again. Uh, I think U67 is just going to get out of dodge and um, and run away as fast as she can. Which she, I understand that sentiment totally. Um, I may not be able to get. Oh, I may not be able to get on top of her to uh, depth of charge. So um, give them a bit of the heebie-jeebies. Even though it's nowhere near them, but they'll hear it and that'll uh, scare the Jesus out of them. And is she, she's diving away, diving away. She's just going to disengage. We're not going to be able to get a shot on her, unfortunately. But. Depth charge again. There she is over there, look. We're not going to get near her, unfortunately, but um, never mind, never mind. Leaving combat area, there we go, yeah. Well, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Juno survived, oh my goodness, like Matrix, like Neo in the Matrix, <laughs> dodging bullets, left, right, or in this case torpedoes, left, right and centre. Uh, brilliant bit of... Um, Steering and dodging and all sorts of... A bit of luck in there a lot. Actually, no, there's a huge ton of luck in there. I didn't see the other round of torpedoes. But uh, our de uh, destroyers survive. I can't speak. I'm so excited. Uh, and we managed to sink U31 and uh, damage U67. So that is a good engagement. I'm happy with that. Right, what we are going to do... I'm going to send... Actually, uh, let's... What we need to do is build some more... Um, we need to build another destroyer. Oh, I would love to build the Queen Elizabeth battleship. Oh, the Valiant. Look at that. No, we we can't. We, no, we need destroyers. Destroyers. Stop tempting me. Stop tempting me. Oh, the hood. How much is that? Seventy thousand. Oh, I'd love to get the hood. Um. No. No, I don't want aircraft carriers. No, aircraft carriers are the wrong wrong um, ship for our current tactics. Maybe later down the line when we're looking to hunt down their capital ships, that would be good. But um, let's have a look. What have we got? Torpedoes, six. We're looking for the one that fires ten torpedoes. That's the one I know we've got the right one. That one. Is that the one? Uh, no, it's not an Icarus class destroyer. It was the the Jarvis or the Jervis. Yes. Uh, let's get the Javelin. Nice, excellent, excellent. Destroyer replenished. 
Now what I might do is send the Javelin and the Verdun. I'm going to send them over there to begin with. I'm going to send them out here to um, to uh, to Norman <laughs> to help Norman out. Because I think she, he needs a bit of um, support there. Good. Okay, so we're back up to a full fleet. Um, let's press on. Oh, crikey. U-41 has engaged a convoy being escorted by Cruiser Sheffield and destroyers Offer and Vampire. Well, hopefully... Oh, the weather's appalling. Look at that. Hopefully, um, the U-41 will go for the, the uh, freighters, giving us a chance to get the uh, destroyers in position. Yep, torpedoes away, and you are firing at... I hope... The um, the thing. Oh, look at this Sheffield. She looks gorgeous, doesn't she? Right. So where is the U-boat? The U-boat is on the wrong side. Of course, all our ships on the wrong side. That's absolutely to be expected. Right. Flank speed ahead. Oh. Um. And turn to starboard. We're going to try and use the guns of the Sheffield to scare her away, and while we try and get the offer and the the vampire, was it, into position. All right. Let's target the um. Submerged contact ways over there. Uh, let's get some high explosives. Oh, do we have any um, aircraft? No. Okay. Um, where are we? Boop. Let's bring that on there. Six inch guns. I reckon probably be that. Where's the wind? The wind is. I've got always got to forget about the wind. We've got fire. Oh, that wasn't too far away. That wasn't a bad guesstimate. Right. Hard flank speed, hard to starboard. Let's swing around. Right, there's the offer. I can't see the contact. There she is. Apparently she's over there, right. Adjust for the wind. High explosives. Um, elevation 16.1. Fire. too far away. Now, uh, there's the contact. I can see it next to that ship. So we've got to be careful not to run afoul of these um, ships. The ones we're trying to protect. So we're going to have to try and charge through them as best we can before we can loose a torpedo or two. Right, elevation 14. 14.3. 14.3. Um... The wind's going to be woof, that way, so and it's strong by looks because it's dark blue. So if we fire about there, oh yes, that's, we're getting close. Right, uh, as a convoy. Uh, oh, hang on, where's the destroyers? Let's not try and turn into our own ships. Right, let's turn to starboard. Oh, she's holding. She's holding. Oh, tough ship. Torpedoes away. Another torpedo gone. Oh, that's the one that just got hit. You can see the torpedo hole in it. Right. Um, going to continue to come around at, start, uh, at flank speed. Oh. She's gone. <laughs> she did. She did. Oh, I thought she was going to survive. She didn't. Sadly not. Right. We were slightly long the last shot. So, were we slightly long? Okay, I thought we were... Okay. Uh, adjust for the wind. Fire. Oh, yeah, we're just, just long. Right. Keep coming around, keep coming around, keep coming around, keep coming around, keep coming around. I've got a funny feeling as soon as um, we get anywhere near her, she's just going to dive away. The old hit and run tactics, that's what I'd do. Ooh, that's almost smack on. Uh, you keep coming around. Oh, hang on. Is that torpedo coming for you by any chance? That torpedo could be coming for her. Uh, so, actually, you go... Just don't go... Yeah, that should be enough to avoid it, I hope. Um, 13 elevation for the guns. 
combat the wind. Fire. Oh, it didn't combat the wind enough. Yeah, the wind took that. Right. Um, I think you've got a torpedo off your bow. No, you don't. Okay. Must be the one behind you. Um, yeah. Continue to turn. I bet it's not going to run into any of our capital ships. Okay, there goes the torpedo there. No, that one missed. Good. U41 moved. No action. Turn of the Sheffield. And we put it about spot on last time. Let's go a little bit shorter. And uh, a little bit more that away. She's got to have taken damage from that. That was so close. Um, right, we need to get out of these, or around these uh, ships, which we're actually making ourselves go the long way around because I've turned the ships annoyingly the wrong way for me. Right, drop that down to 13. But where were we last time? Oh, we were a lot. We were. Mm, we were probably on the money, actually, so I'm actually going to. Go up a bit. 13.6. We're firing into the wind, so. We're not too far away, you know. Right. Any torpedoes coming in? I don't think so, right. Continue to come round. Right, how far is that? There's 6,000. Can we get a torpedo away? Uh, no, we're at the wrong angle. Okay. So, 11.2. Oh, wow. Bam. Oh, there's a periscope there. That must have done some damage. Right. Uh, let's slow down to two-thirds speed. Hard to port. We're going to be blocking the Sheffield slightly, which is going to be annoying, but... Um, torpedoes in the water. Great. Ah, and the U-boat left. Ah, okay. So, we did get some damage on U-41, but she snuck away, taking only one freighter. That's that's a result, actually. That is a result. We've uh, we done our job. We protected the convoy, more or less, and you managed to uh, sink one ship. you got to say that's, that's a win for us. That is a win for us. Right. How are we looking? Let's move these two. So we're going to move... Well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's... Vanessa and Verdun. We'll keep the V's and the J's together. Um, let's move, move you two over there. So you can go and keep um, Norman company. Achilles and Valorius. Okay. Um, oh, what to do? Yeah, we are limited on numbers, which is a bit of a shame. Let's get... Tuna, I'm going to send you over. Mm, now I'm going, to, I'm going to send you up there. Actually, yeah, I'm going to try and cover this area and see what happens. Oh, U46 has shown her head uh, attacking a convoy near the Canary Islands in um, the evening rain. Uh, we have the Vivian and the Watchman destroyers and a large convoy. So let's see what we can do here. There you go. Torpedoes away, and she's firing at. Is she firing at my just. I think she's firing at them. She's like, oh, it's actually quite a lovely sunset. Uh, the Vivian is in prime. I can't actually see it because of the sun. Ah, there she is. There. So hard to starboard. Do we have any aircraft? Because we are near the. No, we don't. Uh, let's let's I can't see anything so let's just click on it like that uh, we are 4,800 meters away we can not no we can't fire a torpedo yet so uh, we'll fire a couple of shells towards her let me just lock onto her again the wind is with us so the winds going that way um, elevation of 7.8 7.7 .7. Slight correction for the wind. Oh, there's the periscope right there. Oh, 
you're in a great position. The Watchman is in a great position. If we just spin around like this, target her. Where's my torpedoes? I think we're going to get some great shots here. Right, she's 3,000 meters away, which is perfect. Um, oh, we're both broadside on, which is fantastic. This is should be a kill uh, in a couple of turns. So, uh, 83 point one they reckon if she moves there so we'll torpedo there torpedo there torpedo there e torpedo there because I don't think she may not move of course she may she may sink down fire lovely right now, we've got torpedoes incoming. We know that. Where is the contact? The contact is there. So, if we go harder port, all, move. There we go. We'll see how we get on. We're still going to have it. Oh, that could be the end of that ship. Hold on there. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Okay, terrible camera work, but... U46 is sunk, and if we can quit before... Damn! <laughs> I thought we could get out of the screen before the freighter goes. But we couldn't. The freighter was lost. Um, but, again, we've done our job. We've lost a freighter, but we've killed the submarine, which is uh, awesome. Brilliant. Oh, it's, it's, it real is a game of attrition, this, isn't it? This is really tough going. But we are still in the fight. And we're still doing the good fight, right? Um, yeah, you just can't cover all the areas you want to cover, which is really frustrating. Um, right, okay. Oh, another U-boat attack. This time, oh, they're attacking uh, Vega and Velox, our destroyers. Now they've got the initiative, so we're going to probably lose a destroyer on this one because they'll get loose. Oh, they didn't lose any um, torpedoes, did they? So there's Vega and Velox, and there's the, the U-boat over there. Oh, she's somewhere away. Right, you are the rearward one, Vega. Okay, um, I'm going to turn you towards. You've got the... You've picked up the uh, contact. Select that, so 13.5. Just try and get her away, trying to hide, you know, force her under. Bit wide, right? This one, turn to port as well. Can you see it? No. Okay, so we're going to try and get the Vega to go this way and the Velux to go this way, and hopefully split her. Um, so 17.9. We're going to go 18 because we're going to have to combat the wind somewhat. It's going to be quite a way, so I'm actually going to go a little bit more. And that's a bit wide. No action. All right, keep going hard starboard. Uh, hard to port, sorry. There we go. Right. Contact bearing 12. Or well, 23.5 actually, but the elevation of 12, I meant to say. And then we 12.1 and combat for the wind. Fire. There's the periscope there. We we're in the in the ball mark. We're not a million miles away. Right, where were we last time? We're, we're pretty much on the money with that one. Uh, 17.8, 18, yeah, cool. Let's, um... Apparently. Oh, we were a little bit wise. Oh, they fired a couple of spreader torpedoes. I think they're fired at you, my friend. Hard to port. Uh, 
I think we should return some torpedoes, don't do you, do you not think? 69. Let's fire. One there then. We know she must be facing roughly towards us. Go one over there as well. The one thing you do realise, this is such an attritional war on the Royal Navy side, isn't it? It's just hard going. You realise how, um, not easy, but relatively, uh, relatively easy. We had it with the, um, the Kriegsmarine. Anywhere near? Oh, torpedoes in the water. Oh, crikey. Right, um, we're going to have to do some dodging now. Their torpedo is going to get to um, to me before ours get to them. Right. Um, torpedo there, torpedo there. Is there two torpedoes there? No, just one. Right, we're going to have to do some... I think we should just about get away with that. Happy days, and um, we'll have a shot at them for being so cheeky as to think they can try and torpedo us. The nerve of the guys! Oh, that, that was close. Holy crap, did we get them with lightning? The gods are against them. <laughs> right, 15.3. Uh, Fire. Squeaky bomb time. We survived. Crikey. Now, let's see how our torpedoes get on. She's moving. <gasps> oh, she's done exactly the same, the cheeky blighter. How dare she use my tactic against me. Right, where is, where is she then? Um, there. Let's go. Harder port. We've got another torpedo. Um, 17.5. So 78 point. Right, I'm going to fire there. Uh, no, actually, she's pointing directly at me, isn't she? Roughly. Hmm. Fire. Torpedo away. With the Velox, we're going to continue up the uh, the fire. Fire over there. Uh, 14.3. Fire. Oh, she's fired one back at us. Oh, it's tip for tat, isn't it? It really is tip for tat. We have to turn. There goes the torpedo. Oh! Uh, what? No! That was a terrible camera angle. Oh, we're gonna miss! That's gonna miss. Well, this is it. <laughs> Wait, where's his torpedo? There. Uh... Oh no. Oh no, they're going to get us. Oh, they might not. Oh, <laughs> this is really tight. This is really tight. Right. We're getting a real. We might have to go to ramming speed in a second. Oh, that's got to do some damage.
Um, we're we're 8,000 meters here, so I'm not going to fire torpedoes from this side, but... Probably a little bit short, actually. <gasps> oh! <laughs> We've dodged it. We've dodged it. Crikey! <laughs> right. Um. Flank speed. She's reloading. We're desperately... I don't think we, we're going to have to swing around to use the other side of the torpedo, aren't we? Um, although I might be able to get close enough to uh, depth charge at this rate. Um, 6.7. Oh, sorry. So, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. 5.1. 5.1, and the wind is against us, so we fire about there. Oh, just long. Right, you need to come charging in as well. Uh, 12.7 oh, on the money. Oh, the wind really choked those ones. Torpedoes in the water. Oh, sugar. I'm cheating a bit now. Oh, no. She didn't fire. There were old torpedoes in the water. Okay, sweet. Um... She's facing us. So what we need to do... I know that's a bit cheaty. It's a bit cheaty. Let's continue to go at flank speed. There's a good chance that if she gets a torpedo reload, we're dead. But, yeah, we've run out on that side. Um, we need to get away from her, her forward firing position. I think we're probably dead, actually. We're too close now. Um... She's going to reload and fire one straight at the Vega. But there's not a lot I can do. So what we can do is make sure this one is coming in for the kill as well. 11.6. Uh, Yep, there we go. There's the killing torpedo. You see, you just cannot get close enough to depth charge them. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. But never mind. We are where we are. Have to charge in now. Try and get revenge. Five thousand meters. Gonna hold. Hold fire. Oh, that's close. Trying to get behind her. Oh, she's got rearward firing, of course. Which is not obviously the greatest ideas, right? We are broadside, almost broadside. Which is kind of the best thing we can do. Uh, switch to torpedo. Oh, we can't. Can we? They say 308. Oh, 314 is the best we can do. Damn. Okay. Not this time. Not this time. Right, let's get down to 7. Point Go to seven point two. Fire. So close. Right. Turn slight to starboard. Right. We should have the angle of the dangle now. Oh crikey, that went a long way. Um. Okay. Two eight nine point four. There. They say. And I am just going to. Right. I'm gonna. Paint one there. 
and then we're just going to paint in the middle and then basically fill in all this so she can't get away and she's going to put one in there couple in here. And if she dodges this, I'll be amazed. Right, we need to build another destroyer. That's for definite. Oh, wow, she's got some uh, movement on. Torpedoes away. Boom! Revenge. U-50 has been shot. Ah, Sade. Vega Sade has been sunk for 1,300 tons, but the Velox got revenge and sunk U-50 for 800. Right. Okay. I might just send... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's send... Uh, let's send Vespa over there to help um, Velox out. And we'll send um, Vanquisher over to help Jaguar out. Meanwhile, actually here... No, is it here? Yeah, here we can. Now yeah, we might as well build it in the UK. Um, we'll build a. Um, let's get these actually in for a bit of um, reloading and repair. Meanwhile, it was the Jarvis class, wasn't it? Let's get. Um. Let's get the Nepal. Yes. Excellent. Right. Another destroyer to the fleet. And she's sitting there. Lovely. Right. We'll, we'll move her out to um, help patrol the other areas. Oh, it's been a bit of a tricky old day, isn't it? A bit of a sticky wicket. A few destroyers lost. But on the other hand, we've sunk a few U-boats. And we've damaged a couple as well. Uh, and... More or less, the, uh, the merchant convoys have got through rather intact. Obviously, a few losses, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'd probably take that. We've still only got two red squares on the tonnage bar at the top. So, um, yeah. Yeah, not a bad day. Bit of a bit of a slow, grindy one, but um, we got there. We got there in the end. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's stressful at times, isn't it? But we're going to leave it there. And week 2.5 in December 1939. Ooh, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are and you want to see some more, hit that thumbs up, hit that share button, and share on social media. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tickle the bell so you get all the latest video notifications. Brill! Right, thanks ever so much. Take care, and I'll see you next time.